Hey, Sids Day Read fam. Welcome to the Walk, Bark, and Ball celebration. My name is Amy Taylor, and I am proud to serve as the new executive director for Sids Day Read. I'm a lifelong Chicagoan, and I've worked in youth development and education for over 20 years, and I couldn't think of a better way to serve the city. I was drawn to Sit, Stay, Read by their vision to give every child in Chicago the opportunity to become an enthusiastic and proficient reader and realize the possibilities for their life. It's my pleasure to co-host this evening with our managing director, Kate. Thanks, Amy. Hi, everyone. My name is Kate McElveen. As Amy said, I'm the managing director here at Sit, Stay, Read, and I am super excited to be here and celebrate all things Sit, Stay, Read and Walkathon with all of you. I have my Sit, Stay, Read wine from my at-home party pack, and and I am so happy to be here and and um, celebrating with all of you tonight. This is awesome. Likewise, and I'm truly excited to host this event with Kate tonight. Kate is the heart of Sit, Stay, Read, and her passion and commitment to the mission has inspired all of us here tonight. Kate has been with the organization for over 10 years and has touched almost every aspect of the organization through her work. Thanks, Amy. You're welcome. Yeah. We are thrilled to have you join us tonight where we're gonna honor the work of Sid Stay Read, celebrate our walkers and announce our golden ticket winner. We will close the evening with a celebratory toast from our board president, Ann Schulhammer. To get us started, I first wanna thank our sponsors. With your support, we were able to host our first ever Dog Walkathon and raise funds to ensure all Chicago students can discover the joy of reading, connect with local volunteers, and experience the unconditional love of dogs. We also want to give a special thank you to the Walk, Bark, and Ball Committee, who helped create the Walkathon, its weekly challenges, and secure the silent auction items we've all been bidding on all week. We also want to give a special shout out to our committee co-chairs, Allie Armstrong and Kevin O'Ran, who were there from the very beginning when Bark and Ball was an in-person event all those years ago and raised their hands right away to step up to the plate to help us with our virtual walkathon this year. Yes, thank you, Allie and Kevin. And lastly, we want to acknowledge and lift up our whole board, associate board members, and Sit, Stay, Read staff. Your dedication and commitment to Sit, Stay, Read is remarkable, and we are truly grateful. Yes, thank you. Over the past month, the Sit, Stay, Read fam has committed to taking their best friend, fur or human, right. on a walk every day and setting a personal goal either in miles and minutes, as well as dollars. Because of you, we hit our goal for our first ever walkathon and raised $25,000. That is incredible. Can you believe it? That's amazing. We, we are so lucky. Are awesome. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. We had almost 100 walkers complete our weekly challenges and, of course, show off your pups. That's right. Yeah. That's we saw right. so many amazing dog pics. I loved it. Not only did we raise money, but we also raised awareness. Walk, Bark, and Ball gave us a chance to tell the world what we all already know, just how powerful the human-animal bond is for our young readers. A few shout-outs from our leaderboards from the Walkathon. Joy Brutus was our fundraising champion for individual walkers. Joy's been a volunteer with us since 2018. And Kate, can you talk a little bit about the work that she's done with the org? Joy has been truly a joy to have on our team. She's never heard that. That's right. Never before. Never. Brand new joke. Yes. But Joy <laughs> is amazing. You know, last year when the pandemic hit, Joy stepped right up to the plate, making encouragement cards for our students, participating in our virtual activities, and then, of course, stepping right up to the plate for Walk, Bark, and Ball. I mean, she's been an amazing walker, and it's so awesome we can honor her tonight. Wow. That's great. Yeah. Thank you, Joy. On the team side, our board president's team, Bow Wow Bowman Villers, led in fundraising, while Hazel's team, led by Sit, Stay, Read Kids superfan Hazel, rocked the weekly challenges. That's right. And we had so many other teams all come together for the event this yeah, year. Yeah, it was really exciting. It was awesome. Festy and friends were in the mix, along with Magnus's Magnificent Mutts, which I think is our associate board chairs yeah, team. Katrina. Yeah, it was awesome. It was just so cool to see so many folks coming together and posting all their pics on the internet, uh, from the walk, and everything was just yeah. great. We loved Showing it. Up your dogs, yeah. your families, the your activities. Yeah, it yeah. was amazing. Yes. It was amazing. Great engagement. <clears throat> and last but not least, the winner of our social media cameo contest is Rhonda Milkowski. Rhonda is going to get a special message from the one and only 
LeVar Burton. That is amazing. Reading Rainbow, Star Trek, Jeopardy. potential Jeopardy host. Jeopardy. Jeopardy. Amazing. I know it is. I'm kind of jealous of, of Rhonda. I yeah. think that that's Rhonda, awesome. you're super lucky. Yeah. We will reach out to prize winners soon to help you claim your prizes. That is also amazing, Amy. We are incredibly grateful to have had so many feet and paws hitting the pavement for Sit, Stay, Read this year. Living through the pandemic has been truly surreal, and none of us could have foreseen the challenges that we would be facing over this time. Right. Uh, you know, one of the things that really impressed me when I first joined Sit, Stay, Read back in January and started learning more about the work that the organization was doing is I was really impressed with the way the team pivoted the programming to a virtual format and came up with a remote learning curriculum. Thanks, Amy. Yeah, we knew right away that we wanted to hit the ground running and pre began preparing for a fully virtual school year as soon as we saw that coming. Of course, we had hoped for a return to in-person learning sooner than now, but um, still we, we knew right away that we had to plan for that eventuality. Mm -hmm. We wanted to make sure that our students, our teachers, our administrators knew that we would be there for them no matter where their learning was taking place this year. So we set our sights on creating three remote learning curricula, one for second, third grade students, one for first graders, mm -hmm. and one for kindergartners in both English and Spanish to share with our teachers throughout the year. Oh, that's really awesome. And that's that's the first time we've done bilingual. Absolutely. In that format. Right? Yeah. Oh, in any format. Great. In any format. Yeah. It's okay. Amazing. That's awesome. <clears throat> These programs also included what we have come to call is Sit, Stay, Read Plus visits. This is where staff, volunteers, and dogs visited our partner teachers' virtual classrooms. I've actually had the chance to do a couple of these visits with our staff, and, and it's really remarkable to see how the program team engages students through this virtual format and really just how those students light up when they get to see the dogs and the volunteers in the Zoom room. That's exactly right. I mean, I think like all of us, our kids are Zoomed out. We're, we've right. all been in the void for a long time now. And I think that having the dogs in their virtual classroom just immediately sparks engagement. They're right there with us and it is really awesome. Yeah, something new and different. That's right, that's right. We also created virtual lessons that our students could complete that could be experienced on tablets or on computers, as well as making student supply packs for every student. Our student supply packs included six brand new books for our students to take home, some of which are right above my head here. Um, four of those books complemented the virtual lessons, plus writing supplies, coloring supplies, bookmarks, and an activity book, a spiral bound activity mm. book with pencil paper versions of all the virtual lessons in English and in Spanish so that students could do sit stay read no matter how great or not so great their internet connection was this year yeah that's amazing yeah thank you you know our volunteer team worked tirelessly also to make sure that our volunteers and their pets could be in the mix in our virtual lessons so they trained them on you know video read aloud skills they wrote scripts for them they skilled them up on all the technical requirements for creating virtual content um, and really came together to make sure that our volunteers could be a part of this too. That's really awesome. It's all those things you don't think about. Totally. And what it takes to put together a virtual curriculum. I think the other thing that was really cool about this virtual curriculum is that it allowed us to invite some new and different guests into the classroom that don't normally get to come and be a part and um, interact with the students. That's totally right. Yeah. So for the first time ever, because our volunteers were in their own homes creating content, we had cats in the mix. My coworker Sue's cat Stanley was there. My coworker mm -hmm. Kia's cat Wicked was in the mix. <laughs> um, dogs that don't normally get to go to the classroom because they're not usually the best fit got to be in videos and, and be a part of the remote learning curriculum. And it was so awesome to bring more members of our community, human and animal, yes. together for our remote learning curriculum. It was great. Our program team learned and implemented so many new skills over the course of the last year, especially around creating literacy-based, social-emotional content for all of our students, all through that lens of diversity, equity, inclusion, anti-racism, and accessibility. Um, you know, we attended seminars, we talked with our colleagues, we sought feedback from teachers and our partners to ensure that, you know, at every step of the way, we were using best practices in student engagement and virtual learning. We expanded our team to include a bilingual programs coordinator because we knew, as I mentioned right away, that we wanted to uh, release all of our new programs in both English and Spanish this year.
Yeah, that's really amazing. I think one of the unsung skills of our program team is just the intentionality in which they pick out books with diverse characters, exciting stories, a variety of families, a bunch of social emotional learning as well. Um, and I, we're really excited to be able to share that with our students. Yeah, you're totally right, Amy. And we'd learn by doing sort of became our unofficial team mantra as we, you know, work through the school year, we would take feedback from one set of lessons and apply it to the next and the next and the next so that with every rollout of a new program, we were putting our very best foot forward every time. That's really awesome. It was. It was great. And, you know, while no remote learning curriculum could ever replace the power of our in-person programming, our student and teacher response has been overwhelmingly positive. Mm. One kindergarten partner <laughs> teacher emailed us to say, my students and I love the selections, the paper activities and the online activities. You all rock. This is such a strong support of what we do every day in class and what we are and have been learning. I can't say enough good about how everything is put together. I also couldn't possibly say thank you enough either. My students are motivated and engaged by the activities and the selections. Thanks for the awesome resource you all continue to be for our students, even amidst the constant and unplanned changes of this past year. Wow, what amazing feedback. Yeah. It's this kind of response that motivates us to show up every day for our students. Here's a video that shares even more about our work over the past year. If this past year has taught us anything, it's that the world around us is always changing. But we've also learned that we can change too. When we brought our first book buddies and dog teams to Hendricks Community Academy in 2004, we had no idea what changes the next 17 years would bring. And now, nearly 20,000 students, 700 classrooms, four grade levels, and one remote learning curriculum later, we are so proud of our adaptability, agility, and growth. These things allow us to continue bringing rigorous, literacy-based, social-emotional content to our classrooms, no matter how the world changes around us. But our work has never been about us. It is about our incredible students who continuously rise to the challenges presented to them in and outside of the classroom. Over the course of the last year, we've had the amazing opportunity to assist Sit, Stay, Read students in their learning at home and at school. We developed remote learning curricula in both English and Spanish for students in kindergarten through third grade, which include clickable, fillable, drag and droppable, virtual lessons rooted in foundational literacy skills like sight words, fluency, comprehension, and written expression. Engaging videos to help students along the way. Student supply packs with activity books, writing supplies, and six brand new books for every student. All with an intentional emphasis on social emotional connections. We knew that during a turbulent pandemic year, students would need extra social emotional support. We made sure that the subject matter of the books we chose for our remote learning curricula was steeped in the big emotions and concepts students have been facing this year around identity, anger, belonging, expectations, and community. We also carefully chose books that feature characters of color and take place in neighborhoods like you might find here in Chicago so that students could see themselves reflected in each lesson. In short, our staff, volunteers, and dogs have come together in ways we had never imagined before to be there for our students. When we released our bilingual remote learning curriculum for second and third graders this fall, one of the lessons centered around the true life story of Chicago's own amazing young person, Jaquille Jackson. In the first chapter of Kids Who Are Changing the World, our students learned all about how Jaquiel is making an impact in his community, distributing bags filled with daily essentials for people without homes, even starting his own foundation, Project I Am. Then, our students wrote their own impact stories about how they would change the world. Third graders from Brunson Math and Science Academy shared theirs with us. that you'll join us 
and invest in all the world changers we serve every day. The future social workers, the future builders, the future policy makers, the future environmentalists, and the future superheroes. Together, we can support all the kids who are changing the world. Like our third grade students at Brunson, each one of you are creating your own impact story and how to change the world. Our staff, volunteers, and donors have come together in ways we had never imagined before to be there for our students. Tonight, through the support of two very generous donors, you can double your impact, as all investments will be matched dollar for dollar up to $10,000. Your investments will go directly to the next generation of change makers, our Sit Stay Read students. That is so amazing. Isn't it? Yeah, that is awesome. really awesome. Yeah. Thank you, donors. You can donate right now by texting WBNB21 to 243725. That will be open for the rest of the evening until midnight tonight. If you want to donate beyond that, you can head to our website, sitstayread.org, anytime and go to the donate page. That's right, Amy. And this just in, we are already well on our way there with a donation from a generous supporter of more than $2,000. Thank you so much. To give you a sense of the impact, we invited our amazing Sit Stay Read staff to share where your investment goes. Hi, I'm Jamie Crockett, Program Coordinator and your support helps me foster a love of reading in the students that we serve. Hi, I'm Kia Smith, Volunteer Coordinator, and your support helps me bring volunteers into classrooms, virtual and in person, to help students grow their love of reading. Hi, my name is Christine Hugie, Development Assistant. Your support helps acquire funds to keep our programs and organization running. Hola, I'm Misael Robledo, Bilingual Programs Coordinator. Your support helps me deliver Sit Stay Read's first ever Spanish language curriculum to our students. Hi, I'm Tariq Ranson, Community Liaison. Your support helps keep me connected in our school's communities. Hi, my name is Sue Herring, Program Coordinator, and your support allows me to select books that reflect our students and help them express themselves in these challenging times. Hi. I'm Sarah Milan, Program Director, and your support helps me create pathways for new ideas and innovations in our programming. Thanks team. And now it's my pleasure to introduce our board president, Ann Schollhammer, to lead us in a celebratory toast to close out the evening. Good evening. My name is Ann Schollhammer and this is Malo, and we are honored to be here with you tonight and for me to serve as board president of Sit Stay Read. A few years ago, I determined that I wanted to contribute directly to equity work in Chicago, particularly in the most racially and economically segregated CPS schools. Only one quarter of CPS fourth graders read at a proficient level, and this has a staggering effect not only on our nation, but on these students as they become adults. This is why I got involved with Sit Stay Read three years ago, and I am committed and intentional to the work of Sit Stay Read to advance children's literacy. Like many of you, I'm here to celebrate the work of Sit, Stay, Read tonight. So let's raise a glass and toast to all our future social workers and builders, policy makers, environmentalists, and superheroes, and all of the students that Sit, Stay, Read works with every day. May you find adventures in your reading, your voice and your writing, and joy in your journey. And to everyone here at Sit, Stay, Read, our fantastic staff, our board, our associate board, our amazing volunteers, and our pups. May every day be a new page in your impact story and changing the world with Sit, Stay, Read. Cheers. Thanks, Anne. What an amazing night. Before we close out, just a quick note on the silent auction. It will be staying open until 8.30, so you can go by and make that last bid on those items that you've been eyeing. That's right, that's right. And remember, those Lady Gaga tickets have been pulled from the silent auction by our golden ticket winner, Jeannie Folk. 
Many thanks to all of you who purchased golden tickets this year, helping us raise an additional $5,000 for our students. Wow. Wow. That is really awesome. Yeah. It's amazing. It's amazing. On, On behalf, behalf of the Sit, Stay, Read students, staff, and boards, thank you for joining us tonight. Cheers. Cheers.